Come on! It's 100 Hip Hop and R&B and Celebrity Page TV. Yours truly, Lorenzo Ice T. Thomas, holding it down. And of course, all this month, it is all about the movies on TV One. And we're talking about love, lies, and murder. And I have two of the uh, stars of the movie with me right now. And I'm going to first start with the young lady that um, I have to say congratulations. I know you've got your second year anniversary coming up next month. What's going on, MC Light? What's happening, baby? (laughs) Oh, man, ain't ain't nothing to it. Just uh, ready to go back to Jamaica, though. I'll need you to set those plans up. Oh, you remember. Yeah, we do have something in common when it comes to Jamaica, and I see you got married in Jamaica, too, huh? I did. That's why I brought it up. Sure enough. Uh, you tried to sure go back. Enough. So wait a minute. Is his name Georgie or is his name Sam? Georgie, <laughs> Georgie, cram the same. You know, cram. Thank <laughs> God, nice. Look, both of those guys had props. They had serious problems. Oh, hey, no. hey, Melinda, this Not is the perfect segue to the movie Love to Death because some of the men and women have some problems in this film. And uh, it's airing on Sunday here on uh, actually on TV One. So, Melinda, first, let me ask you. And of course, you are married and you've been married mm-hmm. for quite some time now. So I know you can identify with loving someone to death you know and uh we are in the age of the era of the me too uh, me too movement how does this film give a voice to women well, well I, what i will say first is two things i'm, I'm newly married i'm a newlywed i'm, I'm only married for a, a month now and i and i and i i just have to correct you i cannot identify mm. with loving someone to death i can only identify with loving someone to life Ooh, because like that. that's what love is it gives you life mm-hmm. um and so that said yes we we um are part of a, a really amazing project called love to death starring myself tobias trevillian christy ferris mckinley freeman and and the great <laughs> incomparable mc light um, who I think people will be very pleasantly surprised to see her performance in this. It's very touching, very moving, um, and very impactful. Uh, and I'll let you tell her, I'll, I'll let her tell a little bit more about her role. Um, mm-hmm. But I just want to say it's really a cautionary tale. Um, though, yes, you know, we typically tune in to, for entertainment purposes, but this really has um, a greater purpose as we, we came to find out when we were, sh- were filming the project. And it really is because it hi- highlights um, domestic violence and intimate partner abuse and how pervasive it is in our society and how a lot of times we miss the red flags and the warning signs that are the more sort of subtle, uh, covert um, behaviors that we sort of doubt and question as to whether or not they are abused. Mm. Now, th- there are times when women and men both can be so much in love that they don't realize that they're being physically or verbally abused. Do you, do you find truth in that and is it illustrated in this film? Well, here's the thing. That's, that's not love. You know, when, when so, love is not obsessive. Love is not possessive and it's certainly not abusive. So when you find yourself in that situation, um, and that's one of the, the, the things that the movie highlights, the points that the movie highlights, is it's telling you that that is actually not love. It's, it's toxic, mm. um, um, you know, pathology in some cases that needs to be addressed, dealt with, talked about, and ultimately treated. Interesting. MC Light, Melinda touched on the role that you play in this in this movie, and I have to say, I, I am a fan of Queen of the South. I have seen your cameos in there, so, you know, kudos and big ups for that. But tell me a little bit about the role your character plays in Love to Death. Well, that's awesome, and Lorenzo, I'm going to have to correct you. A cameo would be MC Light. Mm. I actually acted, so it was a role. How about that? Okay. 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 Now, this role, this role for TV One's Love to Death. Her name is Tiffany. She plays the oldest sister uh, of the three, and um, she is there for support. She is there as a gentle reminder to her sister to love herself, um, as opposed to Christy Ferris's character who is, you know, um, elephant in a china shop. She wants her sister to wake up and wake up quickly because something is wrong with this guy. And so you, you get to see the different colors and variations of personalities that come into play when having to deal with someone who we can clearly see 
her personality is being altered by the presence of this man in her life. And I'm just one of those characters that, you know, gets to be in the midst of all that's occurring. That's and, great. Um, I'm just happy to have had the, the opportunity. Melinda said that you really knock it out the park on this role. So I'm thoroughly uh, looking forward to seeing the film this Sunday at 8 p.m. on TV One. Now, Melinda, you mentioned Tobias's role. Uh, he kind of plays the the savior mm-hmm. or the comforter in this film. What can men learn from his character when they see the movie on Sunday? Well, I think men and women can certainly learn from his character. You know, the, I'll, I'll, I'll take it um, from both sides. I think men can learn how to be more patient and more gentle with a woman who brings what we call baggage into a relationship mm. because sometimes that baggage is, is of no fault of her own, through no fault of her own. And, 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 and that goes both ways. Men and women, we both need to be more gentle with one another because we all enter into relationship with um, having come from somewhere. Um, and, and so invariably, we're going to bring those things into a relationship. So we need to understand what love actually does is love says, bring your baggage, I will help you unpack it. Um, and for women... You know, a lot of times we get into these abusive situations or toxic relationships, and then we swear off love. We say we're never going to do it again, um, and then and we are hyper vigilant as we should be. But we also need to be um, a little bit more patient with with um, our mates in understanding that they're not the ones who hurt us. They are not the ones who brought us the trauma. And if if we would learn to trust trust ourselves, and then ultimately trust them, we could provide a, a safe space for one another to, to help heal each other from those um, past situations that we, we call baggage. If you're just checking it, we're talking to Melinda Williams and MC Light. The movie is Love to Death. It's on TV One. It's the month of love, lives, and murder. And I thank MC Light because she's done so much over her career to reinvent herself. You probably could have done this voiceover as well. How did I do, MC Light? Did I do pretty good? Do I got, do I got enough bass and a little, a little inflection in my voice? How am I doing with this? Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I marked that an A. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Now, like, but if I did talk about inventing yourself. And Melinda, you can kind of chime in on this before we wrap up this interview. But talk about, like, what it's mm-hmm. been like for you. Because, you know, we go back like first priority T-shirts. You know, that's how far back we go. And you've had to Ooh. reinvent yourself Ooh. over the years. <laughs> So talk about what that challenge has been like for you to reinvent yourself and do all the things that you're doing now. Well, I just, um, I would, I would have to say because I just look to inspire, it sort of falls under the heading of everything that I do Mm. and just giving it to God. God, I want to show people that it can be done, that, you know, whatever it is that the vision that you've put inside of them, it can come to fruition. You just need to let go and let God and he'll lead you to where it is that you need to be. But all of the things that I have done over my career, I wanted to do when I was like five or six years old. I wanted to act. I wanted to rap. I wanted to use my voice because I heard Carol Ford on the radio in New York City. Mm-hmm. I wanted to act and I thought be on Facts of Life. Right. Um, you know, I wanted to rap because I heard uh, Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel and all, you know, Sean Rock from the Funky Four Plus One More. So it's all about just getting a strategy in place where, no, I'm not able to do all of those things at once, but once I laid the foundation, going to acting classes, you know, East Coast and West, Mm. going to voiceover classes, you know, um, I prepared myself. So when any of those moments came up and the opportunity was there, I was ready for it. So it's just about getting ready for it. Any, Any and everybody can go after what it is that they love it's just don't do it blindly. Just uh, be prepared. Get as much knowledge about that particular sector of whatever it is that you're looking to do, and then go for it. Melinda Williams, would you like to elaborate on how you've had to reinvent yourself over your career? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's just it, it, it kind of is a natural progression, right? Like mm-hmm. I always just try to live my truth, and um, and I just happen to be living it, uh, you know, publicly. And, and, you know, again, giving all the honor to God because, Amen. like she said, you just ask to be a vessel. And when you ask 
to be a vessel, it doesn't always become about you. It becomes bigger than you. And so you move based on, you know, um, instincts and feelings, and you trust that the things that are coming your way are all um, in line with that purpose of you doing a greater greater thing than for, for someone greater than just yourself. Mm-hmm. So I think with that automatically comes reinvention, reinvention because society changes, people changes, needs change. And if, you're, if, if you are fluid and flexible enough to change and not get stuck and stay in one place because you're holding on to, you know, some, the way something was or when you had, you know, great notoriety at a certain thing at a certain point in time, um, knowing how to change is just, it just That's the, right. that reinvention naturally comes with it. That's right. And the movie is Love to Death. It airs on Sunday on TV One at 8 p.m. And a cameo, uh, or should I say, a, uh, what, what do you want to call it, an encore presentation at 8 p.m. And, of course, I want to say, Melinda Williams, MC Light, thank you so much for taking time to, to call me. Light, I got your number. I'm going to hit you up. Melinda, I'm going to send you a picture that we took at ABFF so you know who you're talking to. <laughs> All right, ladies? Oh, I know who I'm talking to. I know exactly oh, who really? I'm talking to. Oh, really? You do? How do you? No, I remember. I remember you, taking that photo. You remember? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to tag you on it so you have it. I do. All right, Light, and we're going to work on that Jamaica thing, Please honey. Do. Okay? All right, God bless. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, ladies. All right, take care, Lorenzo. No doubt. Lorenzo Tab is here Bye-bye. on 100 Hip Hop and R&B and Celebrity Page TV.